This is Alien Detected on the Weird or What Show. Uh, season 3, Episode 1, Amazing Survival. Yeah, this dude right here is definitely an alien in a physical human body. I know there's probably lots of different types of aliens. I know there's hybrids like myself and many, many other people, but we still have human components, you know? And um, there's alien soul beings, which is myself, which means I know this is my first life in this dimension, and I know I was a reptilian in my past life. But I still am human in this life, plus reptilian. I'm not like a fourth dimensional being walking around completely as a fourth dimensional being in a physical human body. If you know what I'm saying. And yeah, I shapeshift and a lot of other people I know that are hybrids also shapeshift. But we're not complete fourth dimensional reptilians. You know, we're part human. And um, so maybe there's other physical aliens, complete physical aliens and human bodies that I don't know about. I have never met one until I saw this show. And I believe this dude is definitely... 100% alien in a physical human body. I don't know how it works exactly. Um, I don't understand all that cloning and stuff. I understand, I mean, I, I know what walk-in means. Supposedly, you know, if a human body dies, an alien can maybe take over that human body, the physical human body. And so maybe this dude is one of them. Maybe the alien took over his complete physical body. So maybe that's why that alien is able to stay here completely in, you know, physical 3D permanently. You know, because maybe it was a walk-in situation and maybe the human self actually died, his brain and everything, but his physical body remained intact. So I don't know, man, but this dude is not human. As well as a pasture, because there was so much grass, gravel, and wood embedded throughout his entire womb. See, this dude shows no facial expression whatsoever, and he doesn't even blink his eyes. He rarely blinks his eyes. He only blinks his right eye, rarely. His left eye doesn't ever even blink. It never blinks. ...an area, which uh, is, was huge. Um, and... And yeah, I mean, there are some, um, some aliens, um, the greys or reptilians, uh, they can't manifest as completely physical here in 3D, but they can't permanently be physical. They fade away back to their dimension. Um, they can hold that form for maybe 10, 20 minutes, maybe up to about an hour, but they're not, they can't remain here permanently, those um, fourth dimensional, other dimensional aliens. If you know what I'm saying, I have a lot of experience with those. And I know they can't hold their physical form. And um, they never show themselves as they really look. They always pose as, you know, zombies or uh, other weird ape beings, creature beings. Or as, um, like, human. But there's always very awkward stuff about them. I could talk about that later, but... Those beings, the fourth dimensional beings that can manifest here as completely phys physical, they can't hold that form for long. But this dude is permanent to physical 3D. And I believe he's some kind of alien. So maybe we have a walk-in situation. And a walk-in is when an alien can somehow completely take over a human body. You know, if that human dies, but their physical body remains, you know, non-injured, maybe their brain and everything dies, and the alien's able to take it over. So maybe we're dealing with that here. I don't know, but this dude, he shows no facial expression whatsoever. And he rarely blinks his eyes. And how can you only blink one eye, not the other eye? The fact that his chest had also not been injured gave him a much better prognosis because he would be able to breathe and we would be able to feed him uh, through his own GI tract. See, he doesn't blink his eye, not even one time, his left eye. At the first operation, removed all the mutilated tissue, including all of the bone and tissue attached to it. 
So this and this should look exactly alike. So maybe there were some, you know, physical aliens a long, long, long time ago, but now there's not, if you know what I'm saying. There's no physical greys or reptilians or insectoids or mantis beings. You know what I'm saying? They're interdimensional, other dimensional. They're in another dimension and sort of interdimensional. But, you know, there may be other types of aliens that I don't know about, like this dude, like walk-in situation. So we removed this much bone from this side. Okay, this time, I mean, he doesn't even blink either eye, not even one time. A human pelvis is an exceptionally strong structure. I could take your pelvis, put it up on the floor, and jump up and down on it, and not break it. I mean, look at that. He's like robotic. He doesn't even blink his eyes at all. That's how incredibly strong the pelvis is. He doesn't even blink his, uh, his right eye at all. To do this much damage... It's very interesting because I know this dude is an alien. To a person. But he's permanent to 3D. I mean, so far I've never met any human being that I thought was possibly a complete fourth dimensional reptilian walking around. Not once have I ever met anybody like that, ever. I've met hybrids, and yes, they're part human and they're part reptilian. I've met them. And I've met the true, you know, fourth dimensional beings that can manifest in a completely physical body, which normally they manifest as a zombie or a human looking person. But yeah, they were complete fourth dimensional beings, but they couldn't remain permanent to 3D. They disappeared. But like I say, not once have I ever thought I met a complete physical human being looking person that I thought was completely all alien until I watched this show, until I saw this dude. And have them live is incredible. It's extraordinary. Because this dude has no human elements about him. During the next six weeks, he undergoes 22 more operations. Truman's doctors describe his recovery as nothing short of miraculous. Most of the time, somebody with this injury would never make it to be seen by a physician. He would be dead in the field. By all means, I should have been dead, you know. Uh, but uh, everything happened just right, you know. I survived. Yeah, so that's really weird. He's some kind of alien, man. I mean, he permanent alien to, th to you know, to this third dimension. He's a permanent alien in 3D. So anyway, I think there's a lot of stuff um, I haven't figured out yet. But there's something very odd with this dude, and he's some kind of alien that's, you know, permanent to the third dimension in a physical human body. And this dude isn't a hybrid. He's like some kind of complete alien. And like I say, maybe it's a walk-in situation. Maybe they can do that and completely take over the physical human body so they can stay in 3D. That's very possible. And, like, why would he be a surgeon? I mean, he's probably Einstein, you know what I'm saying? You have to be an Einstein to know how to do all that. And how can you not be grossed out by seeing blood and all of that? An alien. A gray. Yeah, I tracked. 